All right, so we're going over three concepts today uh, with 7-3 similar triangles. And those three concepts are angle-angle similarity, side-side-side similarity, and side-angle-side similarity. Now, two things you should notice right off the bat. Uh, and first is that we, you, this should look a little bit similar to something we did last semester. Okay, but this is a little bit different. Okay, this time we're actually working with similarity. Okay, similarity, similarity, not congruence. Okay, before we were working with congruence. We said if, if three triangles have um, the same sides, then they are congruent. Okay, or we said if, a, uh, if, two, uh, if two triangles have side angle side and those three are the same, um, then we have congruence, right? Two triangles are congruent. Or we said uh, if we have the angle side and then the angle for two different triangles and they're congruent, then the triangles are congruent. Okay, but this is a little bit different, right? Congruence is all the same angles and all the same sides. Similarity is all the same angles, but proportional sides, right? Where you've got one triangle, for example, maybe looks something like, uh, like that. And then the second one has that same shape, but it's bigger, okay? So same angles there uh, with similarity, okay? Just a quick sketch of what similar means, right? And you could be going, you know, maybe one from here to here, or you could be going from here to here. Okay, right. In other words, you could be starting with this one and expand it to this one, or you could have uh, be starting with this one and then shrinking it to get to this one. Okay, that's one way to think about it. All right, now what these are: angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side. Let's go ahead and write it. Okay, this is angle, angle. Just so you know what the uh, AA means, and then this is side, 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 and then this is side angle side okay um, so what those are referring to is uh, what we're gonna go ahead and start with so let's let's just start with angle angle similarity okay and let's read what it says first so it says two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle now what that means okay if I have that uh, those two things right if I have uh, two angles on one congruent to two angles on another, and that means that the triangles are similar. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin and look at an example of that. Okay, all right. So let's say it's something like this, and I've got uh, triangle ABC. Okay, and then I've got a bigger one that looks like this. Okay, it's not perfect, but we'll get the idea. Uh, and this is D, uh, E, F. Okay, and let's say I have two angles that are the same. So let's say I have this and this are the same. And then let's say I have this one and this one. Okay, so if I know that those two angles are the same, then I have two congruent triangles. Again, if I know this angle is congruent and then this angle is congruent, then I have Angle angle similarity, which means my triangles are congruent. In other words, that they're proportional. Okay, and in order, sorry, to, to say that my triangles are similarity. In other words, that my triangles are proportional. Okay, and uh, the statement, right, the similarity statement is this right here. The ABC triangle ABC is similar, okay, to triangle DEF. Now it does have to match up, right? So A matches up with D, okay, cool. B matches up with E, that's good, and then C matches up with F, perfect. That's my similarity statement. So if I have one angle, two angles, the same, angle, angle, similarity, that means the triangles are, no matter what, similar, which means, in other words, uh, that they're proportional, okay? Cool. Um, so there's that one, all right? Side, side, side similarity, okay? Side, side, side similarity. Now, angle, angle is something different. Right, we, we didn't talk about angle angle um, with congruence. But side side side, we did have a side 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 congruence, but this is side 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 similarity. So let's talk about the uh, what is common between those two, okay, and, and then what the differences are as well. All right, um, so first let's just read it. Um, so the measures of the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are proportional, okay. What on earth does that mean? Let's talk about it, okay. Let's just kind of keep this shape. I don't know, maybe we'll just kind of get used to it and then see. See our pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that one, uh, at least something uh, kind of similar to it. Okay, there it is. And then we'll have our bigger one like that. 
okay? It's not perfect, but again, you should have the same angles theoretically, right, um, on that one, just to get an idea, all right? Um, so with side, side, side uh, similarity, okay, what we're showing is that the sides are proportional, okay? So for example, something like this. Let's say that this side length was one, let's say this one was three, and let's say that this one uh, was, um, let's go with four. Actually, that's not even a real triangle. Let's just go with one, two, three. Let's make it, I'm going to pause it so I can think about some real lengths. All right, I came up with two, three, four. That one is a real triangle that could exist. Okay, so I've got two, three, four as my lengths. Okay, and then let's say I've got over here, I've got an eight. Okay, I've got um, a 12 and then I've got a 16. Okay, so side, side, side similarity. What side, side, side similarity is? It's saying that all my sides are proportional. Okay, in other words, I've got a scale factor from here to here. So two different ways to think about this. Okay, one way is to ask yourself if these are proportional, right? In other words, if 2 over 8, okay, 2 over 8, okay, correspond, uh, is, if that's equal to 3 over 12, and if that's equal to 4 over 16, okay, if that's true, right? So if it, we're asking ourselves a question, right? Is 2 over 8 equal to 3 over 12? Is that equal to 4 over 16? If all of those are the same, then I have proportionality. Then I have side, side, side similarity, and my triangles are similar, okay? So I do have this, okay? So it ends up being that the triangles are similar. Okay, and theoretically, we could have a similarity statement if we had uh, the, correct, uh, the correct letters and all that, okay? Now, one thing I'll say about this. You have to be very careful here, right? Sometimes the orientation is different. And just to show you an example of that, okay, maybe I've got something like this. Maybe I have that 2, 3, 4, okay? But then you've got something that looks like this. Like, uh, it's going to be a little different, okay? but uh, something that looks like that. Those aren't like right next to each other. Okay, so what you have to do is you actually have to order them from least to greatest or, or in some sort of order where they do match up and then test and see if they're equal, okay? And what I mean by that is this. You could have those same numbers, 8, 12, 16, okay? But you have to make sure you match everything up nice and neat, okay? You can't just do... 2 over 16, and then 3 over 8, and then 4 over 12. That makes no sense. You have to do it in order. So small, this is my small, medium, okay, large. I have to match that with the small, medium, large on the other side. So for example, right, 2 was my small one, okay, 2 is my small one. What's my small one over here? It's 8, okay. 3 is my medium one. What's my medium one over here? It's 12. That's why 3 is under 12, or 3 is above 12, right? What's my uh, big one here? It's 4 matches up with my big one. So you, that's what you have to check. You have to see if those are equal, okay? Uh, and in this case, it does make it a lot easier when the orientation is the same, right? Like, nice and neat, two matches up with eight, looks the same, right? It's the same sort of like slant there, right? Then this one kind of has that top, and then this one's the side, right? So, but when the orientation is different like this, it does make it a little bit more complicated. You have to be careful you have to rearrange things in the correct order. Okay, side angle side similarity. All right, this one's uh, a little bit weird. All right, but here we go. So uh, the measures of the two side lengths of one triangle are proportional. Okay, so this time two sides, right, side side proportional. Okay, and then the angle, okay, uh, to the measures of two corresponding side lengths uh, of another triangle. Right, but then the included angles are congruent. Okay, so you end up with you know proportional here. You're checking if these are proportional. But the angle is congruent, okay? So that angle in between is congruent. So let's look at another one, uh, a, a similar uh, type of drawing, okay? So something like that. And let's go with uh, the 2, 3, 4 again, you know? Actually, just the 2 and the 3, okay? We're not going to put that 4 in. And let's say um, that this is here. Okay, again, not perfect, but you should, 
kind of it's kind of an example of an expanding triangle. Okay, and let's say that this is eight, and we're going to say that this one is twelve. In order to in order to have side angle side similarity, you have to have the angle in between congruent. So if we knew this, right, that this angle is the same as this angle. Okay, we have that angle in between, right? So now what we need to do is check if this, right, that uh, ratio is, is the same as this, okay? Um, so let's test it out, okay? Uh, and I'm going to sh also show you another way to uh, double check, okay? But uh, 2 comparing to 8, so we're asking ourselves, I'm going to give myself some more space. We're asking ourselves is 2 over 8 the same as 3 over 12, Okay, we're asking ourselves that. And is it? Yes, they end up both being equal to one fourth. I'll go ahead and write that in parentheses. They are both um, one fourth. So yes, they are equal, okay? And then I have these uh, being the same, those two being congruent, okay? And then uh, therefore these are now proportional, okay? And so I have side angle side similarity. And on this one, let's go ahead and do a similarity statement. Let's do uh, your classic ABC here. And then over here, let's do your X, Y, Z. Okay, so the similarity statement we just found, we just showed that ABC uh, is similar, triangle ABC is similar to triangle X, Y, Z. Okay? And that is side angle side similarity. Now, I'm going to say the same thing I, as I did earlier. Um, this orientation is very nice and neat, right? You, you don't know this angle. And then notice this is my small side, right? Small side, small side, okay? Two, two and a three, right? Compared to these two, that's my small one. Eight and 12 compared to the uh, these two, eight is my small one. So this matches up, and then this matches up, and then this matches up. It would be harder if it was like this. two, the three, and then you've got like uh, something that looks like this maybe, where you have that angle, and then you've got like uh, an eight here, and then the 12 here. You have to be very careful when you see something like this, okay, because you have to match things up. You have to say, okay, I still got to compare the two to the eight, because the two is my small one here, and the eight is my small one here. So really what I like to do, and, you, and we'll see this in my examples, um, is you've got to like rearrange your triangle to uh, match it up. And once you have the new picture, then you can do these proportions and ask yourself if it's equal. Uh, if they are, then you would have proportionality. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples, um, keeping all of that stuff in mind. Okay, so uh, number one, determine whether the triangles are similar. If so, write a similarity statement, explain your reasoning. Cool. Let's look at it. So, uh, on number one, okay, let's look at what we have. I have a triangle here, I have a triangle here. And right at the bat, I notice I have my angles. So I've got an angle, an angle, okay, that's one angle, one angle pair congruent, and then another angle pair congruent. So, which one is this going to be? Well, this is angle, angle similarity. <clears throat> so, the triangles are similar, and the way we'll write this is we'll just write the similarity statement, uh, and we'll say, that triangle A, A, B, C is similar. Okay, A, B, C, you have to be in the correct order. Remember, everything has to match up. So what, we got to think about what will we write first. A, B, C, well, that means we're going to write D, E, F, okay? So D, E, F, okay, by angle, angle, similarity, okay? Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by angle, angle similarity. Okay, and actually I just want to quickly go back. I know it's a little bit out of order, but I just want to show you something real quick on that first page because I just remembered that I forgot it. I wanted to show you the scale factor method. Okay, so side, angle, side, right? You still match everything up. Uh, two, three, right? The eight, the 12. If I can find a scale factor that's consistent, okay, from here to here or even from here to here, then we can also show proportionality. And what I mean by that is this. If I were to take 2 and I were to multiply it to the small one over here, right? what could I multiply that 2 by to get to 8? Well, I could multiply that 2 by 4 to get to 8. Can I multiply the same thing here? 
to get to the 12. What is 3 times 4? It does end up being 12. So since I have a scale factor there, the scale factor being 4, the number that I'm multiplying, okay, then it is proportional. Okay, so that's a similar process of doing, you know, is 2 eighths equal to 3 twelfths. All right, it's just a different, uh, different method. And you're kind of verifying that if I multiply the lengths here, do I get out the lengths over here consistently, right? And uh, if you don't get the same number here, then you don't have proportionality, okay? Anyways, back to uh, what we were working with. So we are done with that, all right? Let's test out number two. Good, okay, this is a problem where the orientation is weird and uh, they, don't look, they don't look the same, right? Like this, you know, this one, the right angle's down here and this one, the right angle's up here. So that's a different orientation, right? One of them is rotated. So what I like to do here is I like to take at least one of them and I'm gonna rearrange it to where it sort of looks like this. So this is gonna be the same triangle. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. Clearly this one's smaller, okay? So I'm just changing it around to where the right angle matches up here. So now I'm going to have something that looks a little bit more nice and neat. The right angle's here, the right angle's here. Notice this is my small length compared to this, right? 20 and then 36. So what do I need to write here, right? What is my small length on this? Well, it's the 18. 18 and then the 24 is on the bottom. So let's check. Let's see if we have proportionality. Okay, and, but right off the bat, I do notice that I do have the angles are the same. So I've got one angle, so I'm testing for side, angle, side. So I'll, I'm going to kind of ask myself, is it side, angle, side? Okay, and we're going to determine that uh, with our work. Okay, so yes, I had the 90 degree. That takes care of that. Now I want to check the sides uh, and see if they're proportional. So the way we'll do that, um, you can set up your proportion. Okay, well, one, once I kind of have that, I don't need this part. I, this is that same triangle, it's just reoriented. Okay, so the way I'm personally going to check this, well, the 20 should match up with the 18, right? 20 and 18 match up. So let's do 20 over 18. And we're going to ask ourselves, is 20 over 18, uh, 20 over 18, is that equal to 36 over 24? Is that equal? Okay, that's what we're asking ourselves. It's not, uh, it's not saying that they're equal. We are asking ourselves if those are equal, okay? Now, this one's a little bit difficult. I'm going to personally uh, use the calculator on this one. Um, well, that's one way to determine if they're equal. So 20 divided by 18, let's check it out. 20 uh, divided by 18, okay, that's 1.111, right, et cetera. That better be the same. And if it's not, then we just don't know that the, or we don't have uh, proportionality. In other words, the two triangles are not similar. Okay, so let's check it out, though. 36 divided by 24. Is that the same? No. Okay, so since these two numbers are different, these are not equal. Okay, 20 over 18 is not equal to 36 over 24. It's just not. Right, so uh, these are not equal. Okay, so um, that means that the triangles are not similar. Okay, the triangles are not similar. Now, again, we tested out side, angle, side, but side, angle, side did not work. Okay, number three. Okay, with number three, and I'm going to go a little bit quicker through these. There's a lot of examples I want to go through. Um, but we have uh, an angle here, right? And this, uh, the reason I put that angle here is this triangle shares that angle with this big one. Okay, so I, I know it seems weird because it's the same angle, but we're still going to go with that. Okay, and then what I have is parallel lines. But what I know about parallel lines is that you can potentially have, um, you know, with your parallel lines and transversals, we know that this angle and this angle are the same. So I'm actually going to go ahead and label those the same already. And I have angle, angle. Now, to show you the angle, 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 right, that's one pair. That's, oh, that's one angle pair. So that angle is congruent to itself, and then this angle is congruent to this angle. So that's two pairs, all right, and therefore I have... Um, angle angle similarity so it's TSL similar to TRU okay by angle angle okay by angle angle cool cool number four let's check this one out I see an angle in the middle and it's nice because I've got good orientation here right I've got uh, nice and nice and neat, right? 65 here, 65 here. Okay, this is my small one compared to the 4 and the 9. This is uh, my small one compared to the 8 and the 18. Cool. 
So the orientation's good. I don't have to reorient anything. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a different method here to see if the proportionality is the same. Okay. I've got the angle. So again, I'm going to test at the side angle side. Okay. I'm going to test out and see if we have proportionality with my sides. Four times what will get me eight? Four times what will get me eight? Four times two will get me eight. Is that the same over here? Well, is nine times two 18? Yes, it is. So that means I have proportionality. Um, that means I have a scale factor from here to here. That's, that is the same, right? If it was, you know, times two here and then times like six, right? That would be incorrect, right? It's not, uh, it wouldn't be proportional. Okay, so I do have side angle side here. And let's go ahead and put the similarity statement. Uh, triangle K, D, J. Remember, the initial order doesn't matter as long as you match everything up. But K, D, J, okay, K, D, so that means R, P, R, P, Z. Uh, similar, right, triangle K, D, J, similar to triangle R, P, Z by side, angle, side, similarity, if you really wanted to write that similarity part, okay? Uh, and there is that one. Let's go, number five. All right, so uh, angle, angle, cool, okay? That's an angle, so I'm testing out side, angle, side, okay, because I don't have any other angles, right? I've got one pair of angles, okay? Uh, but that's it. Now I'm going to test these. I'm going to see if it's in the correct orientation. Small, big, okay, small, big, cool. Let's test it out. 24 over 39. I'm going to show you another way to do it, right? You could do 24 over 16, okay? You could. And then you ask yourself if that's equal to 39 over 26. Proportions are flexible, but you have to set it up as, as long as everything matches up nice and neat. So 24 over 39, is that equal to 16 over 26? And if it is, we have proportionality. If it's not, uh, we need to um, continue. Okay? Uh, so 24 over 39, 0.615, 16 uh, divided by 26, 0.615. Okay? So it's good. That one works. And we have um, side angle, side proportionality. Therefore, these two triangles are similar. So we've got triangle FBE. Similar to triangle, okay, so we have F, B, E, so it's L, N, M, by side, angle, side, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and not do number six, uh, no, I take that back, I'm going to do number six, okay, so uh, there we go on that one, number six, <clears throat> so let's test it, it certainly looks like it's in the correct orientation, but we're not, we're not sure, okay? So let's just make sure it's in like some sort of a, a similar pattern, okay? So I've got the small one there, okay? So 15, 20, so it's small, medium, large, okay? Let's test it out if that's the same over here. Small, okay, it is. Medium, yes, it is. And large, it is, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to test and see if I have proportionality. So 24 over 15, those two match up. And, and by the way, I have no angles, okay? So I'm testing side, side, side. That's what I'm testing, right? I've got three different sides. I've got three different sides over here. If they're proportional, that means my triangles are similar. So I've got 24 over 15. Is that equal to 32 over 20? Is that equal to 40 over 25? Okay? If those are all the same, then I would have proportionality. Then I would have similarity. So let's check it out. 24 divided by 15 1.6, cool. 32 divided by 20, 1.6, cool. 40 divided by 25, 1.6, awesome. So I do have proportionality. So I could say the triangle G, I, H. I know that's out of order. That's okay. You can still, you can write it in any order. G, I, H, and then Q, S, R. Oh, well. Q, S, R. By side, 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 similarity. Okay, cool. Next page. All right. Um, so we can also use algebra here, right? We can also use uh, the fact that two things are uh, similar, okay? We can use the fact that two triangles are similar uh, in order to find X or in order to find a missing uh, measurement, okay? Let's go ahead and look at this right here. Now, using algebra, we're identifying the similar triangles, okay? Then find each measure, okay? So here we are, okay? We're trying to determine if um, 
All we're really going to do is find x here, but it's telling you that they're similar, right? It's implied that they're similar. So first we have to know they're similar, then we can set it up. Okay, so here we go. Look at that, okay? We've got the similarity because we've got an angle and an angle, okay? Angle, angle, so I'm good to go. And now I'm going to set up my proportion. So the 10 matches up with what? 10 matches up with 20, okay? So 10 over 20, okay, equals 13. I want to match that up with this, right? So this matches up with this, and then this matches up with this. Okay, so I've got 13 over x. Now notice the pattern here. If you're struggling with the proportions, 10 matches with the 20, okay? And then I put the 13 on top. Why is it 13 on top? Well, it's because it's from the same shape. Don't get confused. You cannot flip these. If you flip it, it's wrong, okay? So it matches up with, you know, this is the same corresponding side, and then 10 and 13, 10 and 13, are from the same shape. That's why they're on top uh, together. Now we've got a proportion to solve. We're going to cross multiply, and then we're going to solve. So it's 10 times x equals 13 times 20. That's 260. Okay. We divide by 10. We get x is equal to 26. Okay. And that is that problem. Okay. Uh, on this next one, um, let's see. This is a little bit of a funky one. Okay. Um, you have to be very careful here. The orientation is not great. Okay. It's not great. So. What I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to cover up that bottom part, and I'm going to say, okay, I've got a triangle there. I'm going to keep that 20. So I've got that part, with just the 20, okay? So I've got the 26 and the 20. So I know the side and the side there, okay? Uh, and then, again, it's implied that it's similar, right? It's not necessarily anything that tells us that they're similar, but it's just it's telling, right? It's identify the similar triangles. It's saying, basically, that there are similar triangles here. Find the measures, okay? Uh, so on this one, um, again, we're, imply, we're implying that they're similar, but what you end up with is you have, you have that small one, okay, the 26 and the 20, but then you got this big one like that, okay, and you have that length of x there, right, and this is g, uh, u, i, right, so this entire thing. You get the x, but what is this length g, u, right? Don't say it's 13, it's not just 13, it's 26 plus 13, so it's 39. Okay, the entire length here is 39. So I've got this little triangle right here, the 26 and the 20, but then the one I'm comparing it to is the 39 and the x. So comparing this one, it's I'm asking myself 26 over 39 uh, is equal to, or I'm saying that it is, uh, uh, is equal to 20 over x. And that's your proportion that you have to solve there. So I'm going to cross multiply. Okay, we end up with 26x is equal to, whoa, big number. 20 uh, times 39, that's 780. We'll divide, so 780 divided by uh, 26. You end up with x is 30, and we're done. Okay, moving on. Um, LM, okay, another one that is uh, a little bit difficult. And actually, we're going to go ahead and skip one of those. We can only, really, we only need to do one, and it'll kind of cover this topic. So let's just do number five. Okay, another one that's weird in the sense of where, you know, what triangle matches up with what. And you have to, you get to do the whole triangle that matches up. It's not just each piece, okay? So we've got this triangle right here, 16 and then an X, okay? And then we got the big one, okay? we got the big triangle, okay? Let's just draw the big triangle. Let's do what we did over here, right, which is we drew the whole thing and we labeled those sides. Okay, there it is. All right, we got V, K, M, all right. 8 plus 16, that's 24 for the whole thing. And then this is a this is a weird part here, okay? What is the length of K, M? Let's look at it. K, M. Well, I've got this part is 9, and I've got this part is X. So we don't actually know that length. It's a little bit funky, but we don't know that length, okay? Well, but if I were to just add them up, right, I would just have 9 plus x because we can't combine those, right? Those are not like terms. So if we're just going to add it, it's just going to be 9 plus x. Okay? So that's what we're going to mark as the similar part, right? This little triangle here, okay, matches up with this one, okay? So 16 matches up with the 24, right? 16 matches up with 24. Then the x matches up with the 9 plus x. So x matches up with the 9 plus x. Notice the 16 and the x are from the same 
okay? And then the 24 and the 9 plus x are um, from the same shape. So from here, cross multiply and solve, okay? So I've got 16 times 9 plus x equals 24x, okay? And then from here, we just distribute that 16. So 16 times 9, 16 times 9, that's 144, okay? Plus 16x, okay, equals 24x. All right, so a little bit more involved algebra. That's okay, all right? Uh, from here, I will subtract uh, 16x, subtract 16x. I end up with 144 equals 8x. And you divide, so 144 divided by 8, x ends up being 18, okay? That is that length right there. Last question, here we go. DB, okay, DB. Uh, let's, let's get this a little more solidified. I'll pause it so we can uh, have that more nice and neat. All right, here we go. So, a little bit. A little bit cleaner. All right, we are trying to find the length of DB, which means we've got to find X. Okay, so I'm trying to find this length right here. Now, this one's tough, okay, because you have to, we, we have that weird orientation thing again, right? And what I mean by the orientation is one is flipped, right? They don't they don't mass, match up nice and neat. So I've got to make them match up nice and neat. Here's my right angle here, right? And since this is, I'm, since this is lying on a straight line, you also have that this is a right angle. 22. 22. I know that's a little bit hard to read, but they're both 22 degrees. So I'm going to match this one up with this. So I'm going to redraw that triangle on the right, make make it line up and look like that. Essentially, it's just smaller. Okay, match up my right angle. So that's like this right angle, and then write my 22 degrees right there. Okay, so I've got that 22 degrees. I'm taking this. It's like I'm taking this triangle under my finger and flipping it. Okay, right, I'm just swinging it over. So let's label the sides. Okay, that one at the intersection, that's F. That one up top I actually remains on top, so that's D. And then this one down here is B. Well, what is the length of BF? Let's look at it. FB or BF, okay, that's 2x minus 1. What is this length over here? DB, that's the one we're trying to find, by the way. And it is 2x plus 1. So now what I have is I can now just completely cover this. I don't need that anymore. Right, because I redrew that same triangle, just reorient it to where it's nice and neat and matched up. We know that the triangles are similar. That's in, that's involved in the problem. It's implied. And let's go ahead and do the algebra. So here we go. 20 matches up with 2x plus 1. 20 matches up with 2x plus 1. 12 matches up with uh, 2x minus 1. Okay. Now we have a proportion. We cross multiply. We solve and we have our problem. So cross multiply here, cross multiply. 12 times that entire thing. Okay, don't forget, it's not just 12 times that, it's 12 times this entire thing. 12 times 2x plus 1 equals 20 times 2x minus 1. Okay, so I did that to both sides. I cross multiplied. Now I'm going to distribute, 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 keep my equal sign in the middle. 12 times 12, um, no. Should be 12 times 2 there. Okay, glad I caught that. 12 times 2, that's 24x. Okay, 24. Uh, and then, uh, so 12 times 2, that's the 24x uh, plus 12. Okay, equals um, 20 times 2x. So that's 40x. And then uh, minus 20. Okay, now we just uh, got, you know, combine our like terms, solve, and then we're done. So I'm going to go ahead and combine my x's first. So minus 24x. <coughs> excuse me, 24x here, okay, it goes away on this side, so I'm just left with 12 equals 40 minus 20x, okay, that's 16x minus 20, okay, I want to get this by itself now, so I'm going to add 20 to both sides, I end up with 32, Ooh. 32 uh, equals 16x, therefore x is that is not my problem, okay? Uh, the problem that we, uh, you know, what we're trying to solve is we're trying to solve for DB, okay? So I've got X is equal to 2. In order to find DB, well, DB is equal to 2X plus 
1. Well, what do we know about x? x is 2, so 2 times 2 uh, plus 1. Um, so it ends up just being 5. Okay, so db is equal to 5. That is it for today. Okay, I know it's a long one, but you got to practice with the reorientation and really practice setting up your proportions correctly. Uh, that is it for today. You all have a great day. See you later.